show here from beautiful Midtown Manhattan. Great to see you. And folks, there's good news about the pandemic because COVID-19 is once again in retreat. is something I've said four times before. <laughs> I will not get my hopes up. <laughs> As scientists had predicted, the number of new daily cases in the U.S. has fallen 35% since September 1st. Turns out, the cure for COVID isn't horse paste, it's pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> despite this drop in cases, the CDC is not relaxing their recommendations for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Even for those who are fully vaccinated, the CDC recommends the safest way to celebrate is virtually or with people who live with you. <laughs> you want us to trick or treat with people who live with you? <laughs> That's just snacking. We've been doing that every day for 18 <laughs> months. <laughs> the CDC. Mm, what do you got? Mm. Good stuff. The CDC says that if you insist on having Thanksgiving dinner inside, bring in fresh air by opening windows and doors and use a window fan to blow air out of the window. <laughs> Pandemic or not, that's great advice for Thanksgiving. What's that? What's that, Uncle Jack? Mexicans should do what? I can't hear you. I'm purposely sitting next to the fan. What's that about critical race theory? Oh, I definitely want to hear it while I carve the turkey with a jackhammer. Hey, you know who loves turkey? Dogs. <laughs> In pet news, dogs are getting stoned on neighborhood walks. Okay, if you're wondering, here's how you can tell when your dog is high. It only cares about having fun and eating food. <laughs> this is all happening because marijuana legalization throughout the United States has led to more and more people buying edibles, and more and more people has buying edibles has led more and more people to dropping edibles in places dogs can easily find them, which leads to dogs inadvertently getting baked. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, suddenly that classic excuse is a lot more plausible. My dog ate my homework, because first my dog ate my stash. <laughs> then he thought my homework was a salted pretzel. <laughs> now, this might sound silly, but one woman reports that her toy poodle has been to the emergency room four times as a result of eating cannabis. Sure seems like treating a high dog would be the cushy assignment at the animal hospital. Bill, can you please go fish a Lego out of that angry cat's lower intestines? I would help, but I gotta watch some Rick and Morty with Roscoe here. <laughs> Another pet owner says that he was walking his dog, Bentley, around his neighborhood in California when the dog started acting weird. He even shared a pic of Bentley. Let's give it a look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know that face. I've had that face. That's a dog who just Googled, can you be high forever? <laughs> so please, please, everyone, within the sound of my voice, please keep your pot in a safe place. Don't put it someplace your dog can find it. And whatever you do, do not give it to me. <laughs> Even though I have been a very good boy. <laughs> when we come back, we have a spooky new sponsor. Stick around.